Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about reliability analysis. Reliability analysis is a part of measurement model. It refers to the internal consistency of the scale. Here in this analysis, we check whether the instrument, the research instrument such as questionnaire we are using to collect the data is reliable or not. So um, normally in measurement model, we check the reliability of the instrument, the research instrument and the validity of the variables that we are studying before going for the prediction of different models. So in this particular video, you are going to learn how reliability statistics can be performed in SPSS. So if you are ready, let's apply reliability statistics in SPSS. So I'm going to use this data file where I have multiple variables as you can see. Um, for example, SN stands for social need. So for social need, I have five questions and for different other variables, I have multiple questions. So now I'm going to perform reliability statistics on this research instrument. So for that, you have to go to analyze then you have to go to scale and here you can see reliability analysis okay so let me just display variable names okay we have to check reliability of the entire questionnaire as well as the separate variable so first of all i'm going to check the reliability of the entire uh, questionnaire the entire instrument and then one by one i'm uh, i will be checking variable reliability right the scale variable reliability so let's select the entire instrument so here i've selected all the questions and what you have to do just move them into another box that's it we are ready press ok so as you can see the output we have two variables, uh, sorry, we have two tables, case processing summary and reliability statistics. So in the first table, this first table is just depicting about the sample size. So here in this case, we have 337 total sample and there is no excluded or missing values. And in the second table, as you can see, this is a table uh, by using the values of these table of this table we can conclude whether the research instrument is reliable or not. So here you can see Cronbar Alpha. So Cronbar Alpha is an indicator of reliability statistics with this value, with the, uh, with the help of Cronbar Alpha value, we can conclude whether the instrument is reliable or not. So here is the benchmark. Cronbar alpha value should be equal or greater than 0.7. So if the value of Cronbar alpha is 0.7 or greater than 0.7, we will conclude the instrument is reliable. So let's see the output. So as you can see the second table, reliability statistics, you can see the Cronbar alpha value is 0.902, which is far greater than 0.7. So here we can conclude that the instrument I'm using here is reliable. Now let's see how we can check the reliability of separate variable. For that you have to follow the same procedure. You have to go to scale, uh, analyze scale and reliability analysis. So now I'm going to reset. Okay, for example, here there are different variables. So I'm going to check the reliability of the first variable, which is SN, social need. So let's select all the question of social need and move them into another box. So here, by moving the question of social need into another box, I am just going to check the reliability of social need. Press OK. Again, you can see there are two tables, but here 
in the reliability statistics table, the Cronbach alpha value is not for the entire instrument, it is just for the scale of social need. So one by one you will check the reliability of each variable and then you also check the reliability of the overall instrument and then conclude that whether the instrument you are using uh, that you have used for the data collection purpose is reliable or not. Thank you.